It hasn't run for the previous two years because of the pandemic. But as Anna Val reports, the 60th event, although gruelling at times, has so far run smoothly. A misty start, but one with a difference. From the ground, the lineup looks the same. From the air, a tribute to a very special year, 60 years of 10 tours. A send-off from Polar Explorer and Army officer Preet Chandy had the teams on their way. Just to see all these young people going out and doing this, is, it's just really incredible. So, um, yeah, this is about them, really, and just amazing for them all to get here on, on the 60th year. And, uh, yeah, it's really exciting to be part of it. Three, two, one. Then it was the Jubilee Challenge's turn. Chloe is just one of the 300 youngsters with learning and educational needs taking part with her buddy dog, Sapphire. Chloe is blind and deaf. It's very mixed feelings, to be honest. I am very tired, but also I'm really enjoying it um, because it is a really good experience and um, I have been convinced to come back next year. Across the moor, some hot, sweaty, but still smiling teens well into their 35, 45 or 55 mile trek. How's it going? Good, good, yeah. Tired, but good. Is it harder or easier than you thought it was going to be? Uh, oh, I think harder, definitely due to the weather. How's it going? You getting on yeah, the Yeah, not too bad, yeah. thanks. Brilliant. Yeah, nice weather. But... It won't be long before the team settle down for the night on the moors, and we should see them start to arrive back at camp at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Anna Val, BBC Spotlight, Dum.